What's good, Rallers? Today is Friday, February 19th. I'm JJ, and let's get on with the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning, Rattlers. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Rattlers. You may be seated. Have a great day. Thank you. Now let's get to Dawn with some announcements. What's up, Rattlers? It's Dawn here with some announcements. Attention Rattlers, did you complete your course selection Google form for 21-22? Did you schedule your appointment with your counselor to finish the process? Please visit the grade level Google Classroom or RMHS website for more information and links. If you are interested in playing baseball at RMHS, then please contact Coach Shaw at dshaw at psusd.us. You need to get cleared through the RMHS Athletics Online, but don't procrastinate. Baseball is already working out now. Boys and Girls Golf has been given clearance to have a season. Both boys and girls golf teams will start practices on Tuesday, March 2nd, and our first match is scheduled for March 23rd. If you're interested in playing on the boys or girls team, please email Coach Hanmer at rhanmer at psuc.us and complete the athletic clearance ASAP. Hope to see you on the golf course at Mission Hills North soon. Make sure you're buying your yearbook now. Buy it early before prices increase soon. This year's Rattlers, the Meza Hall will cover events and activities through graduation. You can also follow Yearbook on Instagram at RMHS Mezaha. Remember to contact Mezaha if you have cool pics that need to go in the yearbook this year. Calling all AP students, remember to check your emails or log on to your College Board account so you can pay for your AP exam fees. They are due February 26th before 9pm, so don't procrastinate. Seniors, the deadline to order your cap and gown has been extended. You now have until Monday, March 1st to order your graduation gear. Head to tinyurl.com slash rmhs cap and gown to order. That's all for now, Rattlers. If you have anything you want on the broadcast, including announcements, please contact Ms. Elias. Thank you and stay safe. Back to you, JJ. Hello, Rattlers. This is Mr. Mallory. Just wanted to talk to you guys today about something really cool that I did with my psychology students this semester. It was, we're learning a lot of different things about what's going on with the brain. And the one thing that's really cool about was communication. And more importantly, how does the brain communicate and how does it learn languages, okay? And so what I had the students do was they had to create lesson plans on the next language they wanted to learn, okay? And not only to create the lesson plans, but they had to create a small little video showing me how they were learning that particular lesson. Now there was another option. They also, if they were already bilingual and they wanted to teach, another language to somebody else, they could actually come up with a lesson plan on how they were going to teach it and then actually teach that lesson plan on the video. And what you guys are going to see is some of the results of that. I think you're going to enjoy it. Thank you very much, Rattlers. Have a great day. So in my presentation, I mentioned that I know three languages, which isn't true entirely. I'm fluent in Spanish and English, obviously. I'll be talking about French a little bit. Let me just clarify that. But I'm also going to be giving an introduction to Italian because why not learn two languages at once? So before I start with the lesson, um, here's a fun fact. Um, but I learned that once the brain starts maturing and you're no longer a child that can absorb languages, especially multiple languages at once, um, rapidly, your the, the left, your brain is like no longer impressionable, ma malleable, um, stuff like that. And what I learned is that when children learn languages, they use the right side of their brain as like emotion and they like connect the emotion to like the language, you know? And once our brain matures, we no longer use that right side of our brain. So we, so it's harder because we use the left side, which is more logical and rational. So that's why it's, 
harder for older people to learn languages corresponds to what I'm gonna teach because I'm going to start off today's lesson with the weather in Italian because I wrote it down in Italian. So the weather in Italian is il tempo. Oh, my my accent is so wrong, but I don't want to try because I get embarrassed. Il tempo. Okay. The weather. Um, let's see if I can move this. Um, it's rainy. We know that in English, it's rainy. Wow. Yes. So rain in Italian is bigogia. No, biogia. Biogia. Um, the weather. Il tempo. Rain. Biogia. Um, and in the sentence, I'm going to say, today the climate is very rainy, which is true. Oggi il clima è veramente biogia. Today the climate is very rainy. I already said that, but it's it's okay to repeat myself once in a while. Um, what else? Oh, about French. I kind of understand French, like not that much, but you know, it's, it's French is hard. It's harder than Italian for some reason. I don't know, um, but. I'm planning on getting some French books so I can start reading in French. And I also started listening to some French jazz. So that was my lesson. Um, that was my lesson. See you tomorrow in class. That's all for now, Rallers. If you guys have any announcements, please contact Ms. Elias or DM on Twitter at RMHS News. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Rally Report, for your future broadcasts. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. I'm JJ. Remember to stay safe out there, wear your mask, and have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in the next broadcast.